Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about Kenny Pickett and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, so Dan Orvlosky did this kind of like weird segment on ESPN where he was like apologizing to the Pittsburgh Steelers and to Kenny Pickett on them not being any good. And they put up this graph, which at first makes it seem like, okay, Kenny Pickett is good, but it, it's kind of deceiving a little bit. So they put this chart up here and you can see like weeks 4 through 9, he definitely improved to weeks 10 through 18. But if you look at 10 through 18, that's really not that impressive. If you look at the win-loss record, win-losses kind of get associated with quarterbacks a little bit too much. Wins and losses don't necessarily mean QB value or how good they are. Because if you look at like what he did there, that's not really that impressive. If you go look at weeks 10 through 18 with the Pittsburgh Steelers, outside of the game where they faced Cincinnati and they gave up 37 points, all the other games, they averaged giving up 14 points per game. If that would have been the whole season, that would have been number one in the NFL for points per game that they allowed. They were a very, very good defense. And then the other step down here, which is touchdown to interception ratio, that's a great ratio to have. But five total touchdowns in eight games is terrible. That's not good. And that, you're not going to win games like that in the NFL. If anything, it goes back to the fact that it shows how great that defense was last year. That defense is really good. And QBR, I, I don't believe in QBR at all. I think it's kind of like a, a joke with ESPN that they have. Uh, if you want my explanation, it's in the link down below. And then yards per attempt, he improved on that a little bit, which is good. Even throughout the entire year, even with that improvement, he was 32nd in the NFL for passer rating, only ahead of Zach Wilson. And then he was also dead last in touchdown percentage. So he didn't do a great job with touchdowns. Uh, this is going to say that Kenny Pickett's not going to be good. I think he's going to make a little bit better jump this year. I think he's going to improve. If anything, it seems like the offensive coordinator is what a lot of people are calling out. Like, oh man, the offense is too basic, too basic, too simple. It's very vanilla. So we'll have to see. Maybe we'll do good for him, maybe not. Kenny Pickett had to extend a lot of plays last year uh, where he had a rollout, and that's kind of where he thrives. He he does well with that. So we'll have to we'll have to see. What's that mean for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Well, the over-under for them is eight and a half. And if I had to lean one way, I would lean toward the over, mainly because of three reasons. The organization, it's been a phenomenal organization, definitely top five in the NFL all time for how successful they've been. The head coach, Mike Tomlin, former Bearcat coach, I am a little bit biased here, but he's never had a losing season. And the third reason is that defense. That defense could be even better, and TJ Watt could also be Defensive Player of the Year. But this is a quarterback league, and right now in the AFC North, Pittsburgh arguably has the worst quarterback in the division. So I could see why people are picking against them, but that overall team, it's hard to do that. And I think Kenny Pickett's gonna make a little bit of a jump this year. Also, I picked the Pittsburgh Steelers to get the over last year and wins. I made this video right here. Regular season wins over a seven and a half. Now, why is this a guaranteed lock? The other thing is for fantasy football, I definitely think Pickens and Deontay Johnson are both undervalued in ADP. So I, if you want to pick both of them, I would highly suggest it. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to have over eight and a half wins or under eight and a half wins? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next huddle. Ready? Break.